P. Diddy, breaking news. As we are Weird is back, brother. It is. It is. Uh, Holly Weird is back in full action. Today we found out that not one, not two, but three of P. Diddy's houses, one in New York, one in Miami, one in L.A., got raided by the FBI, son. What's going on? Well, they're obviously looking for what he has been accused of uh, multiple times over the last 30 years, and now it looks like they're trying to find some confirmation for... Uh, Which is? Sex trafficking. Hmm. Sex trafficking. Potential. Interesting. Now, the story gets even weirder from there, because when, obviously, we hear this... From TMZ, homes in Los Angeles, Miami, been raided. Federal law enforcement reports say it's in connection to sex trafficking allegations. Then we find out. By the way, did you see the guy that got bit at the UFC card? I did see that. Then we find out that P. Diddy's private jet has been tracked to the Caribbean island amid raids from the U.S. federal gov or federal this bureau of investigation. GTA. This is a GTA so mission. So the man gets on a private jet as i assume as soon as he hears the news that miami's getting ran up in right is miami spot getting ran up in and gets on a jet and goes to the caribbean islands but check this out uh i don't even know if we can show this because it's tmz but apparently he was caught outside of an airport in miami or outside of one of his homes or something Okay, yeah. pacing around a Miami airport while one of his homes was being raided. So Diddy is just walking around pacing while one of his homes is being raided. He's at a Miami airport, so I'm assuming he was about to get on a plane and be like, yeah, we out. You know, someone's like, yeah, see Diddy. Let's get him. Paparazzi. Dude, TMZ got people everywhere, it feels like. Bro. Everywhere, bro. So let's let's read the article here. Um, this was at his Los Angeles house. Man, they moved in on everything. Look at look at the amount of cars. I'm saying, bro, they are not playing out here. This is like a show. This is like they're gonna, bro. They're gonna have one of those shows. Look at this, like SVU or whatever. They're gonna have an episode about. They were on the freaking boat coming to get him. Wow. So they got his kids. Law enforcement tells TMZ in this case being handled by Southern arrested. District of Southern District Court of New York appears to show several individuals in handcuffs near the property is. A couple of them appear to be Diddy's sons, Justin and King Combs. So both of them in cuffs. Pops is not coming to save you because he's out of the country. Bro, first off. Fled that's wild. Fled while his kids are being arrested or at least put in cuffs. That's crazy. L father ever. It'll be okay, guys. It'll be okay. Yeah, don't worry. Be good, guys. I'm just going to get some milk. <laughs> so... uh Leaving on a jet plane. <laughs> Don't know when I'll be back again. P. Diddy, Harlem Shake. We out of here. <laughs> so trash. Uh, he is the Flash. I'm on season three of the Flash right now. No, I said he's trash. Oh, I thought you said he was like you know he's he's the Flash. But he is he, like the Flash. He's like the Flash right now. So there's been multiple allegations and several suits against Diddy. Uh, obviously, that picture's crazy. But um. Apparently, I don't, like I don't know who, according to, who is I Heart Mindy? I don't know. This is a, some independent journalist, apparently. Uh, she is saying Diddy was having underage girls sign NDAs before drugging and sex trafficking them at his parties, which begs the question, who are all these other celebrities in attendance witnessing this and never said anything? Sounds like it's this time for a deep is, dye all in his party picks. This is the hip-hop version of Epstein. So... Yeah, this is bad. All this is bad, right? The question people are now asking um, is, is this a distraction from the real evil, right? Is this being dumped? Like, obviously, Diddy's got major, major bro, stuff that he's going to have to stories, deal with. All, bro, all the stories of him and Justin Bieber and Usher and all this meek and I don't even know. Every other person. Right. That was like a young, up and coming artist, right? Then all the weird stuff of that girl that he had. Oh. He's like, I adopted this white girl or something. Crazy, you saw that? Crazy, 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 crazy stuff. What are we doing here? So he's like, it looks, it looks sus. We got to explain it, <laughs> bro, bro. First off, 
Call the police. <laughs> Look at this fucking tweet. The diddler, a.k.a. PD's office. <laughs> the diddler. That's the nickname. Bro. You saw him, everybody's... Okay, I'm not trying to laugh. This is a serious situation, but you've seen... I said it earlier in the pod. You see what people are saying instead of pause now? No. No diddy. Oh, that's what you said. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, listen, bro, no diddy, but... <laughs> yeah. So, again... uh, Sex trafficking, RICO racketeering, grooming of minors and adults, solicitation of sex workers, among other issues. And See? He's been dubbed the Epstein of the music industry. Exactly. They show his private jet flight tracking record. Look at this. My man dipped and went straight down here to Antigua, son. Oh, Antigua. There's no laws there. Apparently, Exactly. Like it's not a you I, I I don't know this for sure, but apparently there's no extradition treaty. So if he's down there, you can't get extradited back to the U.S. and, and face charges. And, and yeah, no, Antigua is one of those places. Yeah. So my man got out of Dodge. Apparently this was last night. He was in Hollywood. I have to mute that. This is him at a party last night in, in Hollyweird. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Looking like freaking Blade. No, nah, don't disrespect Blade like that. That's sorry, crazy. I know. I didn't. Wesley Snipes. I'm sorry, dog. No Diddy on that one. Um, but yeah, I love it. Flavor Flav didn't acknowledge. Yeah, Flavor Flav that's walking we're... by. That's an OG. When Flavor Flav don't mess with you. Ain't nobody messing with you. Here's the thing. What what people are the question people are asking is, you know, uh, let me pull up this tweet. He probably killed Pac and Biggie. I was gonna say, you think he's he's on he the hook for both? Admit. All this, all you this, think he's on the hook for both. He had to have known or been a part of it or something. So Candace Owens, a uh, Republican, you know, conservative uh, commentator, she said this today. I thought, okay, I don't know what that is, but she said What's this. Going on? Today. <laughs> uh, feds are currently raiding Diddy's house. They already knew. What he was up to, but he's going to go. But he's going to be the fall guy, so they can protect the people at the top of the ring. They are raiding his home to hide evidence, not find it. That's how this works. What? So she's alleging that this is all like one. Diddy's a part of it, but there's people even higher up that they're trying to. Cover Maybe up. so. What it is? See, it's like Diddy was doing one of these. He's like, you know what? I'm going to blow up the whole thing. That's he's what, one yeah. of the bad guys. See what happens is one of the. But this is what happened with Epstein guys, too, right? Epstein was like, I'm about to yep, let it's everything loose. That's right. He's like, I'm I, I'm one of the bad guys, but I'm about to do a tell all. I'm down. I'm I'm going down for it. Here we go. Yeah. You know. And then they're like, but that, I that does make. Some sense though, yeah. Because that Epstein we, we do went that down to hide evidence, they make a call to the FBI. Like, uh, we're because it's like, why didn't this ever happen before? Thirty years we've been talking about this, dude. Right. And same thing with Epstein. Like, okay, yeah. There's been talks about the island, right? This we, we didn't first hear it after we. By the way, listen. Exposed. It, let's let's re-listen to Cat Williams in that Shannon Sharp interview Uh-oh. in January. What he was talking about, Cat Williams. Cat Williams must know a lot more than people give him credit for. Look at that it's chain. God's Woke. side <laughs> and the other side. And we don't care nothing about the other side. Period. Period. All of these uh, big dick deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. T.D. Jakes, any of them. The, uh, every, all lot. T.D. Jakes. Oh. Also getting name dropped. Eyes will be exposed. That's all. And, 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 and anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it the wrong way. The truth is the light. <laughs> Shannon Amen. 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 Yeah. <laughs> watch Shannon right here. Watch him. Watch him. I, I kind of <clears throat> get on here. All right. Watch watch <laughs> After that, I don't really kind of know where to go. Let me one more time. <laughs> mm, mm. Right. We good now? Because the people want to know, well, why would he get blackballed? Yeah, oh, because I was because, that. because in 30 years, I've done nothing but collect information, knowledge, and your secrets. So if you and a man was in a corner doing something you wasn't supposed to be doing... You would tell it? No, somebody come to tell me. Okay. 
I gather that. I value that. I'll pay for that. Come, tell me. I know so many <laughs> things I shouldn't know, and they all know it. Oh, oh man. Buddy. So, you know what's funny about this? Cat Williams is essentially incredible. saying he's doing to the elites what the elites do to everybody else. And it's fucking right, right, amazing right. to see because that's the whole it's the whole club, yes. right? You know, I got dirt yes. on you, you got dirt on me, but if you let it go, I'm going to let it go. This isn't dude, and this is not like oh, we're finding ways to get you into like bad contracts and like take your money and like ru like ruin your career mm. and take credit where it's not due and like messing with royalties. We're talking about sex trafficking. I'm gonna fuck up we're your talking life, about, dude. Right, we're talking about these people who are doing like r like real inhumane, abusive and vile crimes. Yep. Let's get after these people. Let's clean it up. Holly Weird needs to be done completely. Needs to be done. And it's funny how this is all coming out back to back, right? You see the Nickelodeon stuff dropping. Yes. You see Diddy stuff dropping. I love it. More of it. It's about time. Right? Like, bring... Maybe bring. this is why they're shutting down TikTok, dude. They're shutting down TikTok. Something behind it. Yeah. Something behind it's it. It's on, bro. dude. It's on, and it's gleaming. This is why they want to... You know, because this is where we get all of our information. Well, at least me, you know? And the thing is, too, people are also saying, you know, this is... Oh, uh, bro, yeah, this is the... This bro, is the I saw this on TikTok. Whoa, the, what are we the, doing? The weirdest video ever, dude. I don't even want to watch it. Um, <laughs> Diddy and the Bronco. All it is is weird videos with this dude. I bro. know, dude. There's not a, there's not a like a good video. Uh, like, And even on podcasts where people talk about that's what I'm that they've been to a Diddy party, they're yes, like, uh, like... Everybody everything is, is always... Weird. He's out here calling people daddy and handsome and all that, bro. It, it, there's a level of but power there's, but th that gets And there's people above head. that? That's what I'm saying. Who's who's really because listen, Epstein was was again a guy like this, but there are people, man. There's yeah. gotta be that are like. Well, here's the problem. This whole we know, deal, right? Here's the problem. We have people. There's American citizens who answer. We have to all adhere to the law and answer to the law. Yeah. But then the question is, who does the law answer to? Exactly. What so, is this? So, if somebody man who were lives to next be... door to Sean K P Diddy Combs alleges that he transports busloads of minors to his residence late at night, oh no, there's no way. Yeah, but see, who is this guy? Yeah, who is this? Who is this man who lives next to him? Let's make sure this. Now is he's not... saying it. I mean, listen, is it one of those situations? I'm where glad it's that like... he's saying it. If he's now saying it, I'm glad. Is it, but right, is it one of those situations on, where it's like, bro, why are you waiting? He just said, but time out. He just said busloads. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. There's no authenticity to that, but still. Yeah, I know. If we're if it's real, it's real. Look at all these fucking cameras. This yeah, year is going to get fucking wild. We're in an election year as well. I I feel like this is always anytime that shit like this starts happening in an election year, I'm always like, bro. There's some sort of hidden something because why is all this shit coming out the year we're going to have another election? What's, you know what I'm saying? I always think something yeah. weird is going on because yeah. here's this story. Here's that. So where was this stuff? You know what I'm saying? 30 years, whatever. So Dude, all I'm saying is like I'm saying, the people who are below the law get affected by the law. The people who are of the law can stay above it. People so if are, you were if you were a mass criminal, if you were evil criminal, where would you want your ties to be? And also, people that are above the law also essentially control it. Right, of course. That that's where if I was if you were a criminal, that's where you'd want to be. You yep. know what I'm saying? That's the ideal spot to be. Yep. You know what I'm saying? We got TV shows and movies on this, but it's nothing new. Like we, you know what I mean? It's nothing new. So what what well, what do you think I like, happens I like this, here? Though. What 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 like, like what what happens to a guy that goes to a place where you can't extradite him? What do you do? Um, like how do you how do you 
I mean, do you send people anyway? And like, ah, we're going, you know what I'm saying? We got to maybe, I don't know what the, I don't know what the the rules are, but all I know is that it's GG's because he's never leaving Antigua or he's got to end up somewhere else because they're going to find him. Bro, you come back on soil. We are going to find him. Yeah. We're going to, anyone's going to find him. Forget, forget law enforcement. Oh yeah, bro. The phones, the people over with the people are going to find him. So it was GG's P Diddy. You're done. You're done, son. Is this one of those things? Just find the next person. Dan Schneider. You're done. Yes, yeah, Brian Peck, you're done. Everyone Brian else. Brian Peck, this is this Make year. a list, and we'll make sure that we can go, you're done, because you can't hide behind the camera anymore. You can't hide behind what we can't see because we can see it all. Who do you think is, you know, I mean, this is, a, I think, a, a legitimate question. Who do you think is that next big celebrity that's that's on this list that oh, no one... Because for now, what we know, we knew, or at least you thought, P. Diddy was going to, at some point, like, you hear right. stories. It was like R. Kelly at this point. I feel like there's been people better at hiding their tracks out there. Mm. This, oh, of course, of course. You know what I'm saying? I wonder who that's going to be. Is it, dude, I think we're talking political yeah. figures. Well, that, that's nothing new. It's nothing new, but when if they if we get to a naming process, oh, buddy. Yeah. This country will freaking rip itself apart. I mean, look at the church. Look at the church went oh, through I the know, 90s. Bro. What? That was, up, that was up there in your backyard, dog. And guess what? The cat they they haven't recovered. Accusing him of refusing to honor his commitments, using threats, and acting in bad faith to get his way. Racism, blah blah blah. Okay. Well, yeah, man. We'll see. This is this is the only time that I like cancel culture. No, this is where it needs to be. This is cancel. This is this, this is, is what it's for. Cancel culture is having a baby face turn. When we all collectively understand that this is exactly what needs to happen. Right. This is what needs to be canceled. If we're canceling anything, this. You know what I'm saying? So we'll keep an eye on it, man. We'll keep an eye on it, and uh, we will see where this bad boy goes. Uh, not even, I didn't even mean to make that a point. I can't take no loss. 